So I don't really know what to expect going into this episode of Attack on Titan. I feel like the preview to this episode was very like, very vague and ominous. Obviously last episode was kind of like a callback in a way to like the season one type of deal that we had, you know, just killing Titans. You know, like they, they were using like season one music, like actual season one music. I thought it was just similar to it, but like, no, like they were actually using tracks that they use in season one. And uh, yeah, like I said, it was kind of just a nostalgic episode. I feel like they kind of just needed to, you know, give us that, you know, Isayama said that like that boy just wanted to give us a little bit of nostalgia before we get into like more mind fucking founding Titan future time loop type things right now with the rumbling obviously started and oh yeah annie's back now don't get me wrong annie being back is actually super dope like i'm actually really excited to see how she blends back into the cast you know but i said in the last episode that we reacted to like what the hell can she even do i mean yeah we got the female titan now but aaron <laughs> that man still got like his entire army of colossal titans and you know the bone titan i keep saying this like no matter what there's no way that the rest of the world can defend against these titans. There's there's absolutely no way. The only way that I feel like the rumbling can stop is if something internally happens with Aaron. When if Aaron decides, you know what, fucking, I don't want to do the rumbling anymore, or he, you know, he, he does some anime protagonist stuff, basically. Other than that, everyone is dead. Uh, you know, across the islands of the parody, you you guys are all dying, man. So uh, yeah, lots of interesting stuff that I feel like is gonna happen in this episode. But like I said, I don't really know to, what to expect, man. It was kind of vague and ominous. Also, we need to see Hanji and Levi again. Where the hell are Hanji and Levi? They're just chilling out there, I guess. But other than that, everybody, um, we're just gonna get straight into things, man. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, like always, guys. It really helps the boy out a lot, and we're on our way hitting that 200,000 subscribers, like always, dude. Uh, but without further ado, let's get it. Oh, yes, destruction. That girl Hitch. That weird, terrifying... That, that ain't no dream, bro. That's reality. I definitely see how this is gonna relate. Like, there's gonna be an internal conflict. Like, is Aaron really right with this? Like, you know, he's kind of, you know, uh, casualties right now are kind of rising. See, right now, it's kind of like the lesser of two evils. It's like, okay, do you want, like, some, you know, some casualties in our own city? Or do you want Aaron to, you know, not awaken the wild titans and Marley and the rest of the world just comes to kill us eventually? I don't know, man. Oh, shit. That moisture right there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Weren't Hitch and Annie, like... I don't know if they were, like, friends or acquaintances. But, like, they were in the same regiment, though. Damn, she just chilling there. God damn... Yo, Annie, like... <laughs> she actually woke up and chose violence, bro. Legitimately. Damn. You a little rusty, Annie. I was about to say, like, there's no way, Annie, you can wake up and just decide to throw hands, bro. Like, your body's, like, actually, like, decaying right now. Oh, yeah? Okay. Try me, bitch. Basically, she's saying. Um, I don't know. Annie, like, she was threatening Hitch, and then she got... She literally just got tossed. Like, she got yeeted across the room, so... That's interesting, man. I feel like they're actually, like, starting to connect a lot of characters together. Like, Hitch, she's starting, like, her connection with Annie right now. And then, obviously, like, I already thought that. I'm like, there's no way Annie can come out of her crystal. She's been in the crystal for years, too, bruh. So, like, her muscles and her bones, like, they're, like, stiff and, like, probably decaying, dude. Like, that shit is not healthy, man. She's just been, like, she's literally been a vegetable for years, bro. There's no way that she can come out of her crystal and just start throwing hands and just have, like, the same powers that she had back then. Like, she gotta have some time to, you know, get the blood pumping and stuff like that. I'm also curious of, like, Annie's perception of time. Like, does she... Like, does she know that she's been crystallized for, like, literally years, man? Or is she gonna be like, well, what the fuck is going on, man? You know? Why is everyone killing each other? Episode 82, Sunset. Okay, well, that answers my question. Never mind. Annie was conscious the whole time. Well, that means, like, all the stuff with uh, Armin, she, like, recalls, you know? She's literally just been, like, legitimately, like, in a coma. I mean, honestly, Annie's taking things pretty well. You know, Annie's nose is still there. Mappa didn't get rid of it completely, but definitely the nose is not as pointy as before. I don't know how I feel about that. That's dad right there, dude. That's father. God damn. Fucking bitch slapped her. Damn, dude. <laughs> she made she made him cry. I was like, they're like tears of joy. I'm about to say like, yo, Annie was like beating this guy to death while he was down. Uh, for real, Hitch. I'm about to say like, yo, dude, she hasn't talked for literally years. So, you know, hear her out. Damn, so Annie, I mean, Hitch even said like, yo, Annie, I know you want to see your dad again, but like, 
all these titans they're about to kill everybody in like the internment zone and everything like all you're gonna find there is just like a bunch of destroyed buildings and a corpse like he's gonna be dead and he's like yeah i know but i don't know and he, and he's a really interesting character i really did enjoy that they kind of went more into her i mean i guess it's her backstory uh you know yeah it, is, it was her backstory it was just her her growing up you know obviously the 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 guy that was raising her in the internment zone uh isn't her biological father but you know it's it's basically her father i mean like she he raised her and everything like that so that was really interesting to see like i said it's really dope to hear annie talk again i did assume this was going to be an annie oriented episode and yeah i have no problems with that at all for real bro like let us out dude all right they 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 didn't get the uh the what's it called the founding titan line they weren't invited to the fucking vc damn bro well guess we're all dying today hey yo mr lanehart chill out bro you about to get shot like i just said dude yikes man <laughs> this man shadows is funny bro see in the cadets bro once they get in trouble, they run back to Commander Shadis, bro. All oh, right, that boy Connie is trying to give Falco to his mom. Damn, Armin, okay. Sheesh, you gotta put it like that. That man Armin said, "Fuck it, dude. I gotta, I gotta say whatever I gotta say." Bro, that boy Armin is finally talking his shit to everybody. That man has no more answers, dude. Because Armin is supposed to be like the strategist, you know, he's, he's supposed to have a plan when everything is going haywire and he's he's literally saying like, bro, I don't know what the fuck to do. There's there's too much shit that I got to deal with right now. Too much. I'm stretched thin. Shut up, Armin. Come on, brother. All right, Mikasa, you got to slap some sense into him now. Come on, dude. We still on that, man. My scarf is gone. Who took it? That man Armin is stressed. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? <laughs> They're like, yo, Gabby's a weird name, bruh. Stick with Mia. Oh, okay. That man flogged, dude. <laughs> that man flogged does not care. Of course I knew it was him doing some buck shit right now. I gotta give it to Flock, though. He is determined to be, like, the ultimate little rat bastard. I swear, dude. He is the ultimate little shit. You're gonna kill him. Yep, I knew that shit was coming. Damn, bro, he was already dead. You didn't get to put two more bullets in him. You shot him right in his fucking head. This man, Flock, has flown off the handle. Bro, can we just kill this guy? Bro, the word freedom doesn't... I don't even know what that word means anymore. There's so much shit happening right now. They were killed by Zeke. Well, that's a lie, but, you know. This man, Falco, is unaware. Also, they're playing the ED right now. You know some shit's got, got to go down. I mean, Connie's going to have a change of heart, dude. He's going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. Mother, sorry, you gotta stay as a titan. Yo, this version of the ED is kind of slapping right now. <sighs> Wait, that was it? Okay, I'm about to say, like, yo, we got the ending scene. Peek and, uh, Mobok and Magath are just, they're, they're just chilling out here in the forest. Yo, what the- <laughs> Hanji's just chilling right there, what the hell? Yo, relax! That man Levi, bro! Okay, okay, he's still alive, okay? Yo, that was funny. I'm not gonna lie. That was a little fu Okay, okay, hold on. Preview, preview. And the unsuspecting look up and see them. Pride. Damn, we're still like, yo. Okay, that was really funny. I feel like Hanji, Hanji, how could you not like her, dude? Like, she literally just went right up to like the cart titan and one of the commanders of Marley and said like, yo, what's good, guys? I'm like, wait, wait, hold on. Don't, don't kill me yet. I got a... I got the, the captain over there. I got Levi. You know, he's just chilling back there, bro. Don't worry. Like, what the hell, dude? Are they going to be, like, working together right now? I mean, like, I feel like there's... Why should we even fight each other anymore, man? Like, there's literally nothing, like, what's killing us going to do? You know? It's like, it's not going to do anything, man. So it seems like we're still on this little mini arc type deal of... The Titans are just walking over to uh, Marley right now and the rest of the world. Like, they're literally just walking. So, Connie, it seemed like in the preview that he was, you know, he was holding uh, Falco at, like, uh, with, with the sword, right? So, it seems like he, he hasn't had a, a change of heart yet. Because Armin, he said that he's going to go and try to stop him. And that's what it seems to happen in the next episode. But, uh... Other than that, like, everyone just seems, like, kind of torn right now, kind of depressed in a way. Uh, you see, like, everyone's kind of just laying down, because Flock was basically saying, like, yo, we won. Like, yo, Sean, dude, you don't gotta, like, do anything anymore, bro. Like, yo, just listen to us, just chill, let Aaron do his, his thing, you know, and go back to being the, the, the old John, dude. Like, you can have, you know, your, 
your life in the the military police like you've always dreamed of right like everyone just chill basically and uh yeah so i feel like everyone's kind of just waiting around to see what happens in, in a way man except armin and connie obviously hanji and levi they're having their own little thing right now with a peak and a magas so really interested to see how that interaction plays out but yeah uh, i don't know when exactly the titans are gonna get to the other people in the world um i'm super interested to see exactly how that's gonna work like are, are, is are they literally just gonna show the the titans just killing everything like literally like legitimately like that's like mass genocide like they're just gonna be killing everything like are they just gonna be animating everyone getting crushed if so that's gonna be a pretty gruesome and brutal span of episodes or episode entirely entirely i don't know man but regardless uh attack on time like i said it, it kind of it's kind of in this uh little uh limbo period also we had annie i totally forgot that was like the first half of the episode was the the whole annie backstory and whatnot like i said i already gave my thoughts on that it was it was really interesting um but yeah like i said kind of in this like little intermission type deal uh between like all like the super hype stuff so uh yeah, I guess we'll just wait until the Titans uh, get over to Marley and the rest of the world, man. But other than that, everybody, uh, make sure to leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode. It was actually like a pretty chill episode. I mean, like it was depressing, but you know, like it was chill in a way. Like there's not really like a lot of action going on. It's just talking. And I know like some people might not like that, but uh, yeah, I, I enjoy, you know, I enjoy, you know, learning more about the world and everyone's mindset. So uh, yeah, like I said, make sure you leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Also, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. It really helps support a lot. But uh, other than that, it's been your boy, Abby, guys. Hope you have a great-ass day today, night, morning, wherever the hell you are in the world. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.